Searching for how to implement the find method procedurally in C Sharp, this is Daniel and you are going to get coded. Here I have Visual Studio opened and let's try to create a simple console application by going File, New Project and under Visual C Sharp, Windows Desktop, Console App, I'm going to say Find and hit OK. While this is loading, I have here a link opened and you can find the link to this, to this um, website in the description down below. As I said, we are trying to implement the find method. We can simply find an item in an array and this returns the first occurrence of the item. So let's see what we have here. We have a, an array of fruits and we have I, apple, cherry, pineapple and plum. So four fruits in total. And then we have a string item equal no. So this is the item that we are trying to find. And we have a condition over here and we are going to go uh, to explain that in a couple of seconds. But the initial value is no. So I assume that there is no such item in our array that uh, contains the letter R in our case over here. So is no such item. Um, if this is true, then item remains uh, null even after the for loop because there is no such item. But in our case, we have cherry and cherry indeed contains R, contains at least one R. Um, so because of that, we are going to find this one. So let's see how. We have a for loop over here and we have an I. We iterate from the first item, so index 0, until fruits that length, so the last uh, item in the array. Then, in the body of the for loop, we have an if statement. If the current item that I am iterating over contains the letter R, then we have, we have found it. We have found an item that contains this. And we are assigning that specific item to the item variable. And then we break the execution. So two things. The first one, fruits i represents the current item that we are iterating over. So when i is 0, this represents apple. When i is 1, this whole thing represents cherry. And so on until the end. The break statement over here breaks the for loop. Once we have, once we have found an item that contains the letter R or in general, once we have found an item that satisfies the condition from the if statement, then there is no need for us to continue on and trying to check all the other items. We have found the first one. We don't need to continue on. So we break. In our example, once we have found the cherry item in our fruits array to contain the letter R, we don't uh, continue on iterating through the rest of the items. We break it and we print out that specific item, in our case, cherry, as I said. So let's try to print this to the console, uh, to not print to the console, but to write down uh, all of these things and see how they work. So var fruits equal new square brackets apple not with uppercase but lowercase, so apple, then we have cherry, then we have pineapple, and we have plum as well. So in total of four fruits in our array. Then we have a string item equal null, so we assign the null value, so nothing, uh, to the item. So we assume that there is no such item, we start with this premise there is no such item, so an empty uh, variable. And then we need a for loop, so for tab, tab, the i is going to um, remain the same, and fruits.length, so until the end of the array. If the current item, fruits i, contains the letter r, then we are going to assign to our item, so we have found it. And then we are breaking the loop over here. Let me try to print out the console, so cw tab, let's try to print item. 
and then we have console dot read key to let um, to keep the console opened. So let's try to press F5 and see how uh, so see what result we have. So we have cherry. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. So font size 36 and we have cherry indeed. So this is the item uh, which contains the first item that contains the letter R um, in its word. Okay, let me try to debug to see how this works. So I'm going to set a breakpoint here. If you don't know what the breakpoint is, again, this breakpoint stops the execution of the application uh, on this line over here. So it no longer continues. And we can just press F5. So let me try to expand this a little bit so you can see what we have. And in the locals window, if we expand fruits, you can see all our four fruits and the item is null and the I is zero. So let's try to press F11 and iterate over these items. So F11, the I is zero indeed. So the first is apple. Does apple contain R? No, it doesn't. So it jumps over. It doesn't contain R. Next, we are going to increase the I, so I gets one, and then we check to see if this still is true. This is true indeed. Um, one is less than fruits that length, and fruits that length is, if we have over, is four. And as you saw, this is true. F11, does this fruit from index one, so cherry, contains R? Yes, it does. So we are going to uh, enter inside the if statement and we get the value, the current value, cherry, and we assign it to item. So right now item is null and if we press F11, you can see that item gets uh, the value cherry. And if we break, we break the whole execution because we have found the first item. So let me try to pull down the console and if I press F11, you can see cherry printed over here and F11 to continue on. So let's try to stop the execution. So to reiterate, in order to find an item, you need an actual variable to hold that item. And uh, the type of the item is string. This is the type of the array. So var, uh, var is in actuality string and square brackets. So an array of strings we need to define a local var variable of that specific type to be able to, um, uh, to, to contain, to assign, or to have that value. And then once we, uh, have, once we have found an item which satisfies this condition over here, we are going to assign that specific value to the item, and then we break the for loop. And this is the find method. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click the thumbs up button. Also, my goal right now is to have 1000 subscribers, so consider subscribing. Until next time, bye guys.